Herzlich willkommen zurück zu Inside the Team, wo wir jetzt mit Bo Beach nicht nur einen der besten Namen der Liga haben, sondern mit Max Montana auch nicht den zweiten. So I just said that we have the two best names in the league. Und den Max werden wir euch heute in unserer neuen Episode mal näher vorstellen. Max, you just came from practice, saw your new gym practice facility for the first couple of times. How you like it here? I love it here. Uh, this is my first time sitting in the VIP room and I like it a lot. I like the wood with the black. It's, it's a nice aesthetic. Uh, I think it looks nice in here. So. You just came from Gießen, yes. played there in the first league, came over as a rookie and I can only imagine how tough it is coming over. Your first time away from home, yeah. getting to a new team, then all of a sudden you get injured, you're not playing anymore out of the rotation. So. What changed in your mindset that you knew, okay, I have probably have to change teams to get the best out of my situation? Um, I think that it was just a good situation for me to come here. Um, not that it's, I don't really care about the second league, you know, because this is a good situation for me to come in and, and play and help the team. And then, like we were talking about in our team meeting today, like this is a group of guys in a great situation now to be remembered as the people who moved Hamburg up and, and jump-started, uh, you know, a really great organization from here on. So, I mean, I'm really excited to just do my part and, and help make that happen. You know, I think we have a lot of great guys and uh, just being here for the first few days, like, I can really see that. Um, there's a lot of good energy around here and uh, I think we're up to something special. So, as long as we just keep doing what we're doing, I think uh, it, everything can turn out really, really well for us. How do you approach this new situation on the court and off the court as well? Um, just being professional, um, knowing like like here with our coaches, uh, he likes to have fun and be positive, but knowing where to draw the line, um, having a good balance of everything, uh, I think is going to be really key. You know, not just for me, but for everybody in the team. Um, so yeah, just just being professional with everything and taking care of business. So you told me about the book you're reading. Oh, you already read the book, The Power of Now. Yes. What is it about? So, The Power of Now was written by an author named Eckhart Tolle. And um, he wrote a couple of books, but his main philosophy is um, finding a million ways to help you figure out that, that nothing exists besides now. You know, like all we ever really have is now. Um, so... The majority of people's worries, you know, stems from their mind just always chattering. And your mind is either chattering about, you know, anxieties about the future or worries of the past or vice versa. So, you know, once you really realize that all you have is, is now in the present, um, it helps you be happier, um, not have anxiety so much and not worry about things that really just don't matter. So. I could like talk about this all day because like I really love it. Um, it changed my life reading that book. So to anybody, I would definitely recommend to read it. Uh, it's a really, really great book. So let's talk about it. Yep. So to be honest, I'm struggling like crazy to not think about the future. Even at the moment, I think oh, what I'm going to cook today, what I'm going to do in this weekend, what I have to do till Tuesday. How is it working to stay in the now? So um, he talks about a bunch of different ways to access the now. And, um, you know, there, there's a bunch. I think one main one is to just really focus on your breathing. So when you focus on literally, like, the only thing that pe humans have to do to survive is to breathe, right? You don't have to think about some stupid thing that, that makes no sense about what you're doing now. And also to focus on, like, what you're actually doing. You know, you're walking, um, to be more aware of just everything around you, like, you know, look at the piece of wood and like really look at it, you know, or not just, I think another thing with the phones has really took the human like consciousness, I think a lot of steps back because everybody is just so glued to their phone. And when you're looking at your phone so much, I mean, I do it too, so I'm not perfect. I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect. Like I'm, I'm really not. Um, but I've noticed like about, about myself that it's not so good. Um, so yeah, if you can eliminate things that like make your mind chatter more, It, it can really help you um, access the now. So just being more aware of, you know, the birds chirping and like the silence and everything. And um, yeah, just kind of being aware of your surroundings can also help access it. What's the best moment of now or this moment here in Hamburg for you? Looking at your face. Oh, 
That's a huge compliment, actually. That's in my top five okay. all the time. Okay, <laughs> all right. So behind the camera, we have our guy Ziraj. He's our intern guy this week, and he collected a couple of questions. So one of his questions. You want to show your face or what? You want to go? Come, on. come over here. Das ist unser Freund Siraj und Siraj hat ein paar Fragen vorbereitet. Magst du deine Sportfrage direkt stellen an Max? Ich ja. übersetze sie dir auch. Also ich wollte halt fragen, ob du einen deiner Teammates schon vorher gekannt hast oder halt vorher schon kanntest. Halt. Do you understand? I can translate no, no, yeah. here. If you knew one of your teammates before you came here or have you heard about one of them? That's a good question. Usually I, I would, like I usually know a lot of people, but I didn't know personally anybody on the team so that was also kind of hard for me you know because i'm like jumping into a situation where i don't know anybody but um you know i, I made friends um like my friend mahir agva on the geeson team he knows all the guys so he kind of like you know told them to be nice to me and like all this stuff like this um but you know cha cha played for geeson so it was kind of um common everybody knew that i was coming so it was It was okay to transfer like that. Okay, and then uh, we all see you have a special style, a little bit uncommon style for a basketball player. You can see it also on your Instagram. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. at maxxx.montana, right? Yes. Und du hattest noch eine Sp Frage zu seinen Sportarten, nicht wahr? Ob er noch was anderes macht außer Basketball spielen jetzt? Yeah. You like any other sports than basketball? Or you you did a special sport when you were young? Um, like. I would say skateboarding is a sport, you know, for sure. Uh, so, like, I'll just be on YouTube watching, like, skateboard competitions. Like, I'm, I still love it so much, you know. Like, if you gave me a skateboard now, I could probably, like, do a couple tricks, you know. Like, I've always loved it so much, so I'd probably say skateboarding, yeah. Have you played the Tony Hawk's skater games on PlayStation? Oh, yeah, thousand percent. Like, the Tony Hawk's were obviously unbelievable, but then they came out with the games called Skate. It was just skate, and then those were like much cooler because you could like use the joysticks as the tricks and stuff. So I thought it was like it was way more realistic. So I love those games. I, may, I should probably download them again because those are so much fun. Your favorite skater? Um, probably Andrew Reynolds. Now I like this guy named um, oh, what's his name? I have, a, I have a lot. I mean, probably guys you wouldn't know because they're just like, you know, you wouldn't know. But I have, I have a lot of skaters that I love that, you know, because skateboarding is so cool because, okay, like obviously it's great to be on a team. But, you know, sometimes people have power struggles with listening to people and stuff like this. But with skateboarding, it's you and your piece of wood like versus the world, you know. It's, you know, you kind of just do what you want and make it your own style and you don't have to listen to anybody. So um, I feel like with skateboarding, you just have so much freedom as a person. So uh, that's another reason why I loved it. Kind of like in life, you're responsible by your own for your success and also shortcomings. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, if you if you lose in a competition, like you can't blame anybody but yourself, you know. So I think that's really cool. Can you do the 900, the famous one, no. Tony Hawk made famous? <laughs> No, I mean, I was, that's like vert skateboarding. So like, I, I was more like a street skater. Yeah, more like, like that kind of, uh, you just go on the street and try and find a cool spot to skate or whatever. I think that's like really, because you can be really creative. Not that you can't be creative with vert, but I mean. Yeah. The 900 is probably uh, one of the highlights in skateboarding. Yeah, definitely. Which highlight can we expect from you Saturday at the game against Karlsruhe? Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities in basketball and hopefully uh, I make a good one. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so we have a section here called Rapid Fire. Okay. I hope you haven't seen the episodes before so I can grill you a little bit with those questions. Uh, yeah, I have not seen any of your episodes but I've seen Rapid Fire interviews. And Perfect. Pretty interesting. Okay, so in Gießen you played with John Bryan, big John Bryan, the two-time MVP of the first league. What's your craziest John Bryan story? Probably related to eating. <laughs> oh, that, that's kind of mean. <laughs> um, ah, the craziest one I probably couldn't tell on camera. No, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, John Bryant is like 
one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Um, he really took me under his wing. Um, I could talk about that guy for days. Like he's, I have so much respect for him, like as a basketball player and a person. Um, and he used to always have me and teammates over uh, for, you know, he's always cook on the grill and he's just like a wonderful host and just an all around great person. So um, I'm sorry I couldn't come up with a story for you, but like, I'll just take that time to just compliment my guy, John, like. <laughs> Your sister, your older sister, I guess your older sister, she's a singer? Yeah, yeah, she's a singer. Can you sing one of her songs? Uh, Please. Let's see which one. <laughs> I'm trying to think about which one to sing. I'm going to have to pass. I'm going to have to pass on that. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to pass on that. Who has a better name, Bo Beach or Max Montana? What do you think? I mean, Bo is pretty cool because like, it means beautiful and I Bo mean, Beach. But and be, you can you can make more of, out of Bo Beach because you have the Bo and you have the beach. Yeah. But Max Montana, man, that's like action hero. I think they're both cool because like they both start with the same letter. Yeah. So it's like boom, boom, you know. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna say which one's cooler. That's kind of up to whoever thinks it's cooler, you know. <lacht> I don't know. Last one before I let you go. Du hast noch eine Frage, Siraj. Wie er sich seine Traumfrau vorstellt. Traumfrau. Traumfrau. Uh, you're probably, let's say, your celebrity crush. We asking those questions, everybody. I can't answer that. I can't answer that. <laughs> nah, I think I don't. I wouldn't just want to choose one. I think there's many beautiful girls out there, and I don't want to just choose one. Siraj, hast du eine Traumfrau? Ich habe schon eine. Wie heißt sie? Melissa. Melissa, his girlfriend. Oh, that's your, that's your yeah. celebrity crush? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, special thanks to you, Max. Thank you. <laughs> Siraj, danke dir. Ganz besser, dass du sein Gerne. Wir sehen uns am Samstag gegen KS Ruhe hoffentlich alle und ansonsten wieder in der nächsten Woche. Macht's gut. Ciao. 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 <laughs>